champions of Big Break NFL. Congratulations. All right, guys, we are at our first signature hole of the day. It's number 14, par four, about 428 yards. As you can see, it's a huge dog leg, right? I mean, the pin almost wraps around the corner. And uh, I'm gonna do this whole man bear style. I'm gonna hit my big cut. It, the wind is coming right to left, so it'll, some of that cut will get knocked down, but I'm looking to drive the pin, so here we go. All right, as you can see, wind's blowing about 30 miles an hour right to left, so I'm about 55 yards from the pin, and um, because the wind is so bad, my, my whole goal here is just to get it on the green and give myself a two putt par. Ooh, I almost dunked it in the hole. All right, I hit a pretty good shot here from 55 yards. I got about six feet left in, and uh, I'm trying birdie my first hole in Japan. I missed. Oh, oh, that's a cool noise. All right, on to the next hole. We're here on hole number 16, another signature hole here at Brooks Country Club. Number 16 is a 201 yard par three. It plays downhill and today it's playing downwind, so I'm thinking it's gonna play about 180 yards. And I think what's important for me and all other golfers on par threes is just try and get something on the green, give yourself a chance at a birdie, and at very worst, get your two putt par and get out of there. So I've left myself about 25 feet. Not the greatest shot in the world, but like I said, on par threes, you wanna give yourself a chance at birdie, and at very worst, hit this putt with good speed, leave yourself a tap in, and make your par. Pars will never hurt you, especially on par threes. On the par four 18th hole, looking at about 390 yards from the tee we're playing. Pretty tight hole, trouble right, trouble left, and a real tricky green. So we're playing into about a 30 mile an hour wind, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my driving iron, try and hit a little low draw, and get it out there and give myself a reasonable opportunity to make a birdie or par. Left myself about 165 in the middle of the fairway. Now this green has a shaved false front, so it's really important to commit, hit a good solid shot, and uh, get it up there close. So I pulled it a little left, got a little lucky. You know, I went for broke and nipped it just perfect. And the reward is a par on a tough hole, which I will always take. Golf show here, Sasquatch and Man Bear. And we're in beautiful Mount Shasta Resort. As you can see, right at the base of Mount Shasta. All right, guys, we got a real special treat. The, the whole reason we're up in Mount Shasta here is because of Jim Mullins. Now, real quick, Jim and I have actually known each other for probably 25 years since I was just a kid. And uh, we grew up together, I used to work for him. So a lot of history there. When he retired from Honda, came up to Shasta, now he pretty much runs everything here. Jim, why don't you tell us what we're doing up here and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, my, my new job is I'm the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce in Mount Shasta area. And my job's promoting the Mount Shasta region. And I had an opportunity to have you all up for our golf tournament and you enjoyed it up here. And, Decided to come on back up. I'm going to show you a great time here in Shasta. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, as you guys always know here on Driven, the first thing we do when we go anywhere awesome, we play some golf. So, uh, Sasquatch, what, let's, uh, let's tee off. Let's do it. All, All right. right. He's everything I want to be. He's what you see on movies. 
movie screens He's Clooney in his younger years He's Gosling red carpet premiere But he didn't lose her number. Man, I wish I was good. to hole six, probably our favorite hole on this course. What better opportunity to do a risk reward? Super big dog leg here, perfect for what we do on Driven. Isaac, tell us what you're gonna do first. You know, in a tournament situation, I gotta take my medicine and I gotta hit a four or five iron out there and just hit it down the fairway. As much as I'm tempted to go for it, I'm gonna take my chances leaving myself a wedge into the green. So I'm gonna take the safe route and head down the fairway. All right, let's go. All right, so this hole's a little bit trickier for me because I have to cut off so much dog leg around that corner, but good thing I got my 18 birdies up here. So I'm gonna play this as a real long par three today. So I got my GPS. I'm about 281 yards from here. Got some downwind, so I'm gonna hit a three iron. Should be pretty good for me. And I trust my 18 birdies up, so I'm gonna hit it and see what we do. segment as usual there's more than one way to get it done I took the safe route you know I'm the safe guy I mean look at me I gotta play it safe went down the fairway still left myself a wedge was able to hit it in here pretty tight and sneak a putt in yeah you know and I do what I normally do right I just hit it over the trees you know went over the pin by about 10 15 yards hit a pretty decent chip and made the putt so I think for a first for driven we actually both made birdies on a yeah. risk reward so so who's buying the Diet Coke Brent. Brent. <laughs> or Jim. 